a user on the Lightburn forum asked, how would I cut this frame shape into four identical pieces so that I can cut it out uh, with minimal waste? I thought this would make a good quick tutorial, uh, so I'm going to show you how I would do this using the Cut Shapes tool. So first of all, if you use the Cut Shapes tool, uh, what it does is it will take, uh, let me back that up, I'm going to select this shape, shift, select that shape, go to Tools, Cut Shapes, and you can see that it has cut this into two pieces, one everything in the shape that I used to cut, and one everything outside the shape. You'll also notice that these lines are not closed, and that's because this is currently set to line mode, and when using the Cut Shapes tool, it's assumed that you will be cutting multiple pieces of material or lining them up, so it doesn't close things automatically if they are in line mode. However, if your shapes start in fill mode and you cut them with the Cut Shapes tool, it will automatically close them, like this. So now, if I was to cut out these two shapes, I could assemble them back together uh, like you would. So I'm going to undo this again and delete my cutter and show you how I would do this cut. So first, set the layer to fill so that it will automatically close the shapes for you. Second, I'm going to draw a box and the first thing that I'm going to do is hover the mouse into approximately the middle of this frame and you'll notice that when I get to the middle it turns into a little X and that means that I am snapping to the center of this shape. So from here, if I draw a box outward to enclose one corner of this shape, I know that this corner of the box is exactly in the center. The next thing I'm going to do is duplicate. Uh, I'm going to do that by uh, edit duplicate. I normally just use the control D shortcut. Then I'm going to grab the sizing handle here and drag it down diagonally this way so that I have an exact copy or a close copy starting from the same location that encompasses this part of the frame here. So if I cut this frame, the red, with this box, I'll be left with this piece here and then these, uh, or this row here remaining. And then if I cut this shape here with this box, I will have this piece, this piece, and this piece remaining. That may sound confusing, but you'll see what I mean when I actually do it. So first, select my frame, shift, select the cutting tool, go to tools, cut shapes, and so now I've got this piece, which is what was inside the cutter, and this piece, which is what was outside the cutter. So again, I'm going to select this one, shift select this one, go to tools, cut shapes, and now I have this shape, which was inside the cutting tool, and then this and this were outside the cutting tool. And if I ungroup these two, I now have four independent shapes that I can move around, and that is exactly what the user asked for. Um, in this case, I technically didn't need to go to all of this work because we know that each of these shapes is an exact copy. Um, it would have been enough for me to just cut this one piece here and then just make four copies of it. And so to do that, I could quite easily select this one, select this one, tools, cut shapes, simply delete this, and now this piece, if I control D to duplicate it and produce four copies, I now have four identical copies of that frame piece that I can use. Uh, and obviously if I was to cut them sort of nested up or nestled together like this, I would reduce my material waste. And that's it.